Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Have you heard about Michael's new home? It's in one of the poshest areas in this area. Is he living in the new housing estate in Killington? No, he's living in an old house in Wharton. Do you mean the one near the health center on Old Slate Road? That's the one. His house must be worth millions. That is one of the most beautiful areas in Oxford. The surrounding area is really peaceful, and getting into the city center from there is very convenient. How can he afford that place? He didn't buy it. His grandfather died recently and left him loads of money. Did he know that his grandfather was so wealthy? No one in the family expected to get a dime from him. It was quite a surprise. What a lucky man. He still has a complaint, though. What's that? He wanted to live right on a bus line, but he doesn't. So, if he wants to take a bus anywhere, he has to walk one quarter mile to get to a bus stop. The poor thing. It must be difficult being him. You can say that again. He always likes to say something as if all his geese are swans. I know this characteristic of him. So I never think seriously of his words. Yeah, this is a clever way to be in contact with such a person. It seems that you don't like him. Do you like to communicate with him? Well, I'd better get back to work. I've got a ton of stuff on my desk. Me too. I'll see you after work, huh? Yeah, definitely. I was hoping to catch a ride with you. Sure. Meet me at five. Wow, there are so many lanterns to appreciate. Now, I can see why it's called the Lantern Festival. It deserves its name. Yeah, people always enjoy the lighted lanterns and the gala performances. What are they doing over there? People keep on gathering there. Did you notice the characters on the lanterns? Sure, but you know that I can't read any Chinese characters. What do they say? They are puzzles. It's a tradition to solve the puzzles on the lanterns during the Lantern Festival. Very interesting. But I'm afraid we'd better do something else. Hey, look. There is a huge lantern there. Let's get close to it. It's really eye-catching. It's the biggest dragon lantern I've ever seen in all my life. Really? Then I'm really lucky. Oh, it's spewing fireworks from its huge mouth. Very impressive. It's made of glass which makes it even brighter. There are many Chinese characters on its body, too. What are they about? Puzzles? Let me have a look. Oh, no. They are Chinese poems which describe this happy scene. Would you recommend some places for sightseeing? How about Great Canyon? Is it worth seeing? Of course. It's the most wonderful natural works. Who's your favorite film star? Tom Hanks is always my favorite film star. What films feature him? Many. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.